In Polytopia, the first few moves can have a huge impact on the rest of the match. Well, in chess there are some defined openings such as the Queen's Gambit or the French Defense. Well, in Polytopia, there are some common openers that will start you off on the right foot every time, and if you learn these, it'll greatly improve your game. Let's get right into it. First thing I'm going to show you, I've seen it called the Polytar Push, but I prefer to call it Unicorn Road. So what you're going to do is on turn zero with Illyrion, you'll move your warrior over to a Polytar, and then you will upgrade it to an enchanted animal. And that pushes your warrior in extra space and it gives you a Polytar, so you've got a battlefield advantage if you happen to run into anyone right in the beginning. The next one is, uh, I guess you could call it <laughs> This next opener, I call it the Yachtic Split. It's one of my favorite openers. So you're gonna start with one single road and move your warrior across. That's a good find. Build a second warrior and your turn. And then on turn one, you can move the second warrior two spaces as well in a different direction without making another road. So this isn't as good as it was before the beta update because roads cost three stars now instead of two, but it still lets you split off in two different directions for just one road and you can expand faster. You've got a road built and since you're the Yotic tribe, your advantage is roads and connecting cities together. So you've already got a head start on that and you're exploring faster than your enemies. So pretty good start, even with the extra star cost per roads. I really love the Symanti tribe. I don't play them too much anymore because people feel like it's cheap or whatever, but I call this opener the Symanti Shanty. A little bit debatable. Let me know if you agree with this in the comments, but uh, on turn zero, move my shaman forward one, but instead of getting the fungi, I will make a warrior. End my turn. On the next turn, I will turbocharge that warrior move him to the left or right direction, and then get a fungi. On turn two, I still won't move that shaman. I will make another warrior and then boost him. And then end my turn. And on turn three, now I finally push that warrior forward. Now the reason for doing this is you number one get two boosted warriors and number two you have sort of a scout going forward taking the risk because you don't really want to push your shaman forward as the front liner because you could just get unlucky and get wombo comboed by a couple of umaji riders or something and not only that not only are they kind of the vanguard to protect your shaman but you get more information uh, you can figure out the most strategic place to put your shaman now that you know where a couple of cities are. I really like Umaji. I think they're very underrated. Uh, they typically have a pretty slow economy, but starting with riders gives them a lot of flexibility in the beginning of the game. So I call this opening the Umaji Daji, or the Daji Umaji. So I almost always will move that first rider up and make a second rider on turn zero. Now, in turn one, you sort of have an option here. Uh, if you don't think you're going to get attacked, like you're in a bigger map, you can split them off in different directions. But if you think you might run into opponents in the beginning, I like to actually keep them in the same area, like this. That way, if you do run into an opponent, uh, you're able to support each other pretty easily. You can move a couple spaces here if somebody were to pop up. And uh, having two riders together, it really helps that first engagement where you run into a warrior or two and maybe they... Uh, are threatening you or trying to take a ruin that you're both after. If you've got two riders, you can do a hit and run and take out that unit and maybe uh, use the escape second move to actually land on the area of interest that you're trying to reach. Um, with Umaji, I also highly recommend getting fruit technology uh, or organization before you take your first city because their economy does ramp up very slowly. So you're really gonna need that first tech to get anything done. Well, that's it for that. If you found that helpful and you liked it and want to see more, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Let me know in the comments if you agree or disagree with any of my openers or if there's anything you'd like to see or things that you think I overlooked. See you next time. Thanks. Bye.